Hi, Hi. Uh, welcome to, to the, the Coolest, Coolest Podcast. Podcast. We're back, baby. Woo-hoo. <laughs> we have your usual four suspects here. We've got. Hi, I'm Rowie. Yeah, and <laughs> Mike as well. Yes, Derek. I'm still Derek. <laughs> and Pratik, your favorite moderator. Yeah. <laughs> well, the only moderator. <laughs> All, All right, right, guys. What are we talking about today? Um, I think we're doing we're doing like. In the spirit of Halloween, mm-hmm. yes, we're talking about scary stories. Yeah, yeah well, it's let October. me tell you. Let me tell you, October is known for two things. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, Halloween and Pratik's birthday. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. Is, it, is it on Halloween? I well, it's Halloweenish, twenty eighth of October. That's close. So, yeah, That's yeah. close enough. Which I can't believe my birthday is the twenty seventh of October. Oh wow! Yeah. 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 Halloween that, baby. That's an exclusive. Uh, we didn't know that. So. <laughs> well, and my birthday is November. Oh, November. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, just, just you missed it by just good. damn it. <laughs> One month. Just a few days. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> that brings us to the first question of today. Are we ready, guys? Ooh. Ooh. Let's get to it. Okay. So let me ask you, how do people usually celebrate Halloween in your countries? Mm-hmm. Maybe we have. Well, we're both in the UK. Yes. Yeah. But but do we have similar experiences? Experience. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, I wonder because yeah, I, I, Halloween for me was very very. Um, it was a happy time. Uh, I think more kind of it's the best of times. Yes, when I was younger, because I, I could really enjoy it more when I was uh, um, yes uh, younger and yes. uh, a child. Um, but yeah, I, I used to go trick or treating, which was nice. Yeah, um, what would be like a, a usual Halloween kind of yeah. plan? For you. I think uh, it was, uh, I had my uh, neighbours next door and they had kids and we went together kind of trick-or-treating. Uh, you you and, live in a small town? Uh, yes, so yeah, it was a very lots small of, town. Lots of doors. Uh, so there's lots of knocking on doors mm-hmm. and shouting trick-or-treat um, and usually I got nothing. Uh, I, uh, Sorry. Maybe, it, I can't believe it maybe I, I, I do have a loud voice so, or maybe um, you didn't look scary enough uh, or not scary yes yeah, yeah. really um, I'm surprised you didn't or too scary yes. or too scary yes. they wouldn't open the door yeah. Yeah. I, I usually, I usually um, uh, wore a banana costume um, what every uh, year uh, not every year <laughs> uh, sometimes an apple really costume good. Oh, but, okay. but, uh, I, I was usually a fruit, so maybe that's why, yes, I was not scary enough. Mm. Yeah. So, sad, yeah. but I enjoyed it. So that's, trick or treating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's what counts, you enjoyed it. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, for me, it was quite a different uh, style because I, I lived in a small village. There's mm-hmm. only about uh, 200 people yes. in the whole village. It was tiny. So we used to dress up. Often we had some like nights armor or maybe a little dracula or something mm-hmm. like that and we go to the village and there's about all together maybe 30 doors to knock on and most of those are there's like post office and stuff like that so they don't count so it's only about 15 yes. so you have 15 doors to knock on uh, luckily because it's a small place everyone was really nice and they knew each other so we always got lots of sweets and chocolates and mm. biscuits no fruit though yes no fruit <laughs> yes no fruit did your parents allow you to eat all of your candy at once? Or oh. did they like save it like a little bit at a time? Yeah, they had, we had to ration it. Mm. Maybe two or three little chocolates a day yes. after dinner. Yes, I, I never told the truth about how many treats I got. <laughs> so I, I would have, um, I would eat my chocolates <laughs> by myself uh, in a corner. Yes. Oh, you were a good. smart kid. Uh, 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 yes, and You're uh, a professional uh, trick or treater. Yeah, I professional. Think so. trick or... Yes, yes, very <laughs> professional. Nice. <laughs> uh, what did you dress up as, Mike? Um, often it would be yeah, like we used to have these. I don't know where my mum got them, but knights army, you know, ring mail. Mm. We can add that into the yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ring mail. Uh, it's it was kind of draped over, and we had three of them because there's three brothers, mm-hmm. so we used to go as. Little knights. Were you the three musketeers? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My granddad called us the three must have beards, though. <laughs> <laughs> when we got older, not when we were little. When we, when we, turned, when we turned 18, it's like, yeah, the three must have beards. Mm. Yeah, that's that's All right. What's Rowie's story? Um, yeah. Well, in the Philippines, being a primarily Catholic country, it, Halloween was still about like, 
church events. So it, November 1st and 2nd, well, October 31st, midnight, I guess, is considered All Saints and yeah. All Souls Day. Mm-hmm. So traditionally, we didn't really do any trick or treating. Um, we would just go to the cemetery, clean the cemetery, uh, the, well, the, the one that's the plot of land that's like for our family. Mm-hmm. Um, and then bring flowers and usually stay there kind of like through not the whole night but maybe three four hours with family exchanging stories and stuff and when we were younger what the kids would do was actually because there's tons of candles it's pretty dark just like get the wax from the candles and Mm -hmm. actually like make i don't know wax balls or whatever just play with it oh yeah so it was that telling scary stories telling telling stories about our family members who already passed on Ooh. so it was just memories about them that sounds so, like Coco. yeah what that movie coco i guess so maybe yeah, it's like kind of similar huh? in mexico they do it when is that the day of the dead but they celebrate their past yeah, on. yeah, yeah they have, yes. um, Dia de los what's it called yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. celebrating the dead Yes. I'm not sure if mm. I got that correctly, but mm. is it Dia? I think it's Dia. Dia de los Yeah. But yeah, maybe it is similar. So it's still centered around family and remembrance. remembering yeah, mm-hmm. your loved ones that have passed. However, in the recent times, people have begun um, wearing costumes and trick-or-treating. I think I only did it two times when I was younger. Oh, so, do you remember, do you remember your costume? Times. I think one time I was just like a white lady because it was easy. I just had to wear something white <laughs> and then put, make my I face, <laughs> like yeah, put my good. face like really, really white powder. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, like a ghost so, too, like a yeah, ghost like lady. a ghost because like the story <laughs> of the white lady is what we call it in the Philippines is very prominent. Uh, like a lot of people kind of scare get scared. That scared me so much. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so, oh, God. So, God. There's lots of the stories surrounding yes. her. So that was easy. So I think I wore that once. And another time, maybe just a witch, because I it was not a big deal when I was younger. Mm. Nowadays, like people just really get into it. Well, mm. costumes are almost the, costume. the main thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, come to think of it, um, I think paying respect to your ancestors is actually a part of every culture. Mm-hmm. Where in in the West, it's celebrated in form of Halloween, and I'm sure the one you mentioned in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the East, it's a bit different. I mean, you know, we, we have the Obon festival yeah. here in Japan that's mm-hmm. also meant mm-hmm. for the same purpose. In India, we, we do not celebrate Halloween because um, it's originally not part of the tradition. Um, but yeah, with the foreign influence or with the American media especially, I think it's coming up now. Mm. So people do uh, dress up, they go trick-or-treating mm. in certain parts of the cities. Um, yeah, interesting stories. Yeah. Uh, can you share your favorite Halloween memory? Anything spooky, anything emotional, anything... Well, I don't see why emotional, but sad <laughs> or... Anything, yeah, anything. anything that sticks with you till today. Wow. Um, I don't know, they, they've always been really fun. So the, most of my memories are, are pretty fun mm-hmm. for that. I remember one, um, you know, where's Wally? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Where's, well, I think in America, where's Waldo? Yes. I think people dress up like that a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. But one year, me and my friends, we did, me as Wally, and my friend dressed up as the bad guy. So Wally had white and red stripes, and the bad guy had yellow and black stripes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and another one was just another Wally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah two Wallys. And you know how crowded it is in Shibuya? Mm. It was really funny. We suddenly became uh, everyone, like so many people were going like, oh, Wally this, and they were like using us <laughs> in the crowd. And then we started hiding different places, and like, we had groups of people, like maybe 20 or 30 people, like, oh, there he is, mm. behind that car. Yeah, uh, it became like a living Where's Wally picture book. Mm-hmm. Which is, that was pretty fun. That was pretty nice. cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. like a fun memory. Yeah. Yeah, 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 especially in Shibuya. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's. Have you ever yeah. been there? Crazy, yes. No, I've I... never tried Halloween in Shibuya. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, once or twice. I dressed as a vampire, um, but oh. a very bad one. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I didn't have. I, I only had the. F- the fangs, um, the fangs. Oh, the little the sharp teeth. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, my friend just squirted me with blood on my face. Oh, you're like a messy it, vampire. It just looks like I, I was <laughs> be- 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 uh, beaten up um, <laughs> very much. <laughs> oh, no. You're like a really... 
I looked like I'd been in a fight. It was just terrible, but, but anyway. Well, at least it scared <laughs> someone off. Uh, so, yes, I'm sure, and yeah. many people were avoiding me, yeah. uh, giving me lots of space, because uh-huh. yeah, they think I actually looked like I was... Well, some, then you live to um, the spirit of Halloween. That's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> um, I, I guess that was something I remember, yes. Yeah, definitely. Just, uh, yeah. Have you ever dressed up for Halloween, pretty? Mm. I, I have, actually, in Japan. My first year here in 2015, I think. And then the movie Conjuring had then released. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So I decided to dress as a vampire. No connections, I'm sorry. <laughs> but my friend who helped me get ready uh, were uh, dressed as Bathsheba, mm. the main, like, the antagonist of that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. that kind of old lady? Yeah, the old lady yeah. who kidnaps children yeah. and then sacrifices yeah. them and all of that. Oui. And then we walked to the university in that... Um, oh. In that costume, mm-hmm. and then everybody freaked out, <laughs> and yeah, because I don't know. Back in twenty fifteen, things yeah. were not as popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that that's my favorite memory, just scaring people off. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, have you have you guys ever scared someone in your costumes? Uh, I I have not really worn a really scary version. Just like Pratik, the first time I actually wore or spent Halloween in costume as an adult was here in Japan. So when I came in Miyagi, all of the ALTs would get together and do Halloween. Mm-hmm. But I went a Snow White on my first year, so not scary at all. Oh, <laughs> so. oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think the second year I did a corpse bride. But I still oh, I, but I don't cool. think I looked scary. I s- no, she's still more... <laughs> that is still glamorous, I would yeah, say. Maybe, glamorous right? Costume, yeah. So maybe <laughs> doing an actual like creepy costume yeah. uh, would be interesting yeah, eventually right. in the future. We'll see if it happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's talk about movie recommendations for our students. What are your favorite oh, yeah. Halloween movies? <gasps> Halloween movies? Yeah. I oh, hate yeah. scary movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, um, I'm, yeah, I'm a big horror fan. Me too. Um, Me too. Hello. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, oh God. <laughs> You're stuck with the wrong group here. <laughs> right, let's get okay, Halloween. It's let's okay. go. It's not as if I haven't seen any, you know, when your friends force you to. But yeah, go ahead. Yes. I would like to hear your recommendations. Oh. Um, yes, I, I, I find myself, I'm, I'm very disturbed because um, uh, Friday night, um, uh, by, my, by myself, um, watching TV, I just love, yeah, watching a really scary movie yeah. with uh, uh, popcorn and drinks. Oh, the lights, the lights off. Uh, lights, lights off, lights off yeah. everything. Yeah. Nice and uh, volume, well, I, I, I don't want to um, wake everybody up, so yeah. I use my headphones, oh. but volume is maxed out. Yeah, um, yeah. Ready maximum for those volume. jump scares. I love the scary... Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Kind of movies that uh, like make you jump. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the kind get, of movie get the I heart know. pumping. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> makes you feel alive. Yes. What's in yes. those movies? Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Energized. Yeah. Right. How about you, Mike? What's your favorite Halloween movie? Oh man, that's tough. Pro- I think it's not really a Halloween movie, but it's a definitely a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evil Dead. Oh, oh, very good. Evil Dead 2. Classic. Evil Dead oh, 2. okay. That one was hilarious. Yes. <laughs> it's so good. It's, if you haven't seen it, it's a comedy horror and it's mm. really just mad. It's just yeah. mad, isn't it? And it's hilarious. That was one of my first films I, I saw and I was, uh, of course, I was very... Too young? Uh, I was too young to watch it. Me too, actually. Um, yeah, that yes. was actually the first one. Evil Dead yeah. 1. That Evil was Dead. more serious, wasn't it? It was, and it was. Evil yeah. Dead 2 was yeah. like a remake, but yeah. in comedy style. Right. Mm. But now that when I watch it, I actually end up laughing. It's, it's so <laughs> funny. Yeah. Everything about that movie I've is I've never funny. seen it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have to have a well, movie now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think the reason why I'm so scared of um, Halloween movies, or scary movies in general, is that the first one that I actually seriously watched was like The Ring. Oh, oh god that, that is scary that yeah is genuinely and we scary. watched like the japanese version of it Ooh, yeah. which is, in my opinion creepier i've seen both versions because my friends in high school wanted to watch it mm-hmm. we all watched it together at school during like a school festival and we were all freaking oh. out <laughs> and it, then it, the school played that movie it, it was they were fine Amazing. like it was yeah we were high school students um, i want to go to that school yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so it was an all-girl school we were high school students like we had this a projector it was just playing there we can choose like whatever movie and um yeah when i got home and in our bedroom there's a tv and we oh, sleep with the lights no. off 
So yeah, not not very fun at all. <laughs> and our TV would tend to do static when you like choose the wrong channel, right? Uh, yeah. oh, that's oh. the entry of Sadako, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it wasn't just that. There was another one called Shutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love one. it. Yeah. No, I yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> but that one's creepy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. So yeah, my introduction to like scary movies, Shutter is a Thai movie, if I'm not wrong, is it originally? Japanese? Originally, yeah, the original version. Maybe or Japanese. Mm. Oh, is it Japanese? I'm not so. very sure, but it's not. Mm. It's not an American movie, yeah. but yeah, it's pretty creepy as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know that guy. On the yeah, movie, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, do you know the the story of the movie? No, no. Okay, sure. I don't yes. want to reveal okay, that's okay, the end okay, okay. part. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. For <laughs> oh, my... it's but it's oh, creepy oh, as oh, hell. Nearly a yeah, spoiler alert. I, but, oh. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think many people are scared of this genre. That's still maybe the least popular genre. Uh, out of the, uh, I think so too. Yeah, yeah the most the underrated. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That underrated is um, a good word because I find a lot of horror movies have some really good directing and they really a good horror movie builds up the suspense and creates a pretty scary bad yeah. guy mm -hmm. really in a really good way and they end up yeah. with a rating of five or six because yeah. usually people don't prefer watching horror yeah, yeah they get scared mm -hmm. and maybe that reduces the rating or something i don't know but uh, there's so many good horror movies yeah. i must oh, yeah. say the yeah. stories do get me interested like, you mm. know, the ring, the background story of why it all happened. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. There's a mystery to it as well. Yes. Like yeah, it's yeah. Suspense yeah. mystery. But it's it's all coming together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 That's it. Uh, I must mention the, the Chucky movies as well. I oh, think yeah. Um, yeah, Child's Play. Yes, Child's Play. Yeah, those are cool. And um, the other one, uh, Annabelle. Annabelle as well. Oh, that's another good. doll movie. Yeah. Annabelle, yeah. I actually watched it a month ago. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's, that's, it's that's I was creepy. very it's so curious creepy. about Annabelle, but I did not watch oh, it. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Those, all those movies are, are all produced by Bloomhouse um, Production Company, mm -hmm. which is, they've done The Conjuring, Insidious, mm -hmm. Annabelle. Uh, all the ones with that couple. There's yeah. Two char there's two characters yes. that are in every movie, the same ones, based on real... Oh, that's real right. Real ghost hunters, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's really cool that they connect all these films. A bit like Marvel. Yeah. Not yeah. as much, but they'll connect the different ghosts mm. and demons yeah. across the movies. I think if it's based on a true story, um, that kind of freaks me out even more. Yeah. So like, actually, th th these events may, may, may have happened. happened. I guess something like the Blair Witch Project. Oh, I was oh, just going to mention that. <laughs> I was just going to mention Good that. Good choice. Great. Yeah. And the, oh, they marketed that so well. Mm -hmm. It only cost them $25,000. Yeah. And they made so much money. Wow. And just, they were like spreading these stories. Have you heard about the witch? Yeah. The, the Blair Witch? I've, Never been so scared actually. Yeah. Uh, I saw it in the cinema. Yeah, me too, yeah. I won't spoil anything, but it was crazy at the end. Oh god! Yeah, I man, saw yeah. it with the laptop. Yes. Kept on oh my, my chest. <laughs> that's that's so close. Terrible. Oh, that's, oh my god! That's the, wow. that's the good way I to watch cannot. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh. See, I have seen some movies. I'm just scared of them, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you a real quick story about mm -hmm. the ring as well. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine borrowed my computer for a, a weekend. He needed to do some work, and his one's broken, and he gave it back to me. And uh, one night I was just watching some TV, and my computer turned on with that static. And the, the well from the oh. ring came on it. And then uh, you could see the hands climbing out. And I almost died. <laughs> it was so God, terrifying. Imagine. I was like, what the hell? What's happening? What's happening? And I tried to, I moved my mouse and touched my keyboard. Didn't stop. Kept going. And then after God. about 10 seconds, uh, really fast, Selicor ran at the screen. Yeah. And I just put the face oh, on the screen. No. My friend, I, I told him about it the next day. Mm -hmm. He was laughing because he put a screensaver on my computer. Uh, a, a ring screensaver. Oh and you, you can't stop it when it starts. Wow. <laughs> so it was on that actually is a great Halloween prank. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you guys should play it on some of your friends. <laughs> yes. That's true. That's yeah, yeah. That would freak oh, me out. My goodness. No. But you know, I'm, I'm very curious to know whether you guys believe in ghosts or the supernatural. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Well, I, 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 I will believe it when I see it. Um, uh, for me, I'm out. No, no, they don't see. exist. But uh, is that true or not? We just don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, yeah. I don't know until I see something. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Good answer. Um, Let's see. Maybe the reason I'm a lot more scared is because I think believe is a strong word, but I don't discredit the idea right. that you know maybe there's like some supernatural, supernatural stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was talking to Mike the other day, and I was telling him that when I was young, we lived in the countryside area. Yeah. It was a huge house, and in the, it had like um, a lot of trees, and in the backyard there was an actual well. Like an old fashioned wow. like, well. Like in the um, movie. Like in the movie. Like in the movie. Oh, <laughs> yes. Man. So I was Sadako. like, I don't <laughs> I lived there until I was in third grade. So there were a lot of like creepy like happenings around the house. And in the Philippines, they do have a lot of like scary stories. Like like I told you earlier, there's like this story about a white lady. Mm. And that house apparently was occupied by um, Japanese or Americans during the war. And like, I don't know what happened in it, but they, the people are claiming that there are ghosts there. Right. And my younger sister, when we were young, when, well, when we were both young, one time um, we were playing outdoors and she just suddenly pointed to the swings and said, um, there's a lady there who's asking me to come play with her. <laughs> So she was like, look, look, like that lady in white is there asking me to play with her. Lady in white? Yeah. And it was so, you. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we had uh, helpers at that time. Um, so they were like, there's nothing there. What are you talking about? And then they just snatch her up and go back inside the house because they were scared. Right. Um, in the Philippines, they believe that when children see, children can see supernatural. Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. And apparently they rushed back into the house because the idea is also that that lady's intention was to take my sister Mm. away. So there were stories like that when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can't say I 100% believe in it, but like I mentioned, I do not discredit the possibility of it being right. Mm. Man. Interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm sharing. I've never seen anything myself, but I've heard a few people, maybe five or six, uh, through my life, Mm. (laughs) tell me stories. Like something like yeah. that, and they look like they've really believed it, like mm. they really saw it, yeah. and they look genuinely scared. Yeah. Of it. yeah. So I don't know if it, if it's real or if people kind of imagine stuff. Mm-hmm. I think it's a bit of mix of both. Yeah. Um, cause um, uh, I don't believe in the ghostly appearance of a ghost, but I do believe that there are some positive negative energies, mm-hmm. right? Cause like sometimes when you enter. Uh, let's say a, a room, a, a random room after many, many years, it, it smells damp and, you know, it, you can't expect life mm-hmm. in that room. Mm-hmm. So, of, of course, that's the energy. Um, I would like to share an experience here. So Ooh. when I was in university, uh, <coughs> um, I was about, what, 18, 19 year old. There's this uh, really haunted fort in uh, central India. It's called Bhangar, and the history, uh, well, the story goes about 200, 300 years ago that the entire kingdom was wiped out in one night because of a curse. Wow. And what people still believe in is that few, sometimes, or maybe a full moon night or something, that the entire kingdom comes back to life. Wow. Right? So I wanted to, and the government of India actually has uh, placed a, what's that, a notice right outside the fort that after 4 30, you cannot enter or after it gets dark or early in the morning, you can't enter the premises or something mm-hmm. like that. So I, um, I hitchhiked my way to it. And then I found a localite who, who uh, decided to give me a lift. So he rode me on, on a very um, makeshift sort of a bike. Mm-hmm. And then we ended up uh, at the fort around 3, 3.30. And then, you know, it, it's, it's a beautiful fort, to be honest. You know, the, the, the archaeology department mm-hmm. is taking care of it really nicely. It's a tourist spot in the mornings. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we went around the fort, we looked at it, and then we sat down and we ta- started talking about uh, the history and everything. And then, you know, while we were talking, it became dark. Mm-hmm. We lost the touch of time, right? Wow. It, it was, I think, 7, 7.30. Oh, wow. And then I looked back. And there was, I could see a candle in the, the main room of the fort. I said, who lit up the candle? Because there was no one <laughs> there. And he was like, oh, we should get out of here. Oh. So, oh. And, <laughs> and his answer spooked me yeah. out. So we started walking back to the main entrance. And then suddenly out of nowhere, a black dog started walking along with us. What? It came out of nowhere with no idea. Um, so 
And then, you know, again, like I said, that I started feeling it. I mean, I think you said that if you haven't seen it, you don't believe it, right? Right. And certain times you don't see it, you just feel it. Yes. Yes, so yes, I yes. felt mm. that it was really negative and I just wanted to get out of there. Mm. Um, so we somehow managed to get to the main entrance. We climbed it up because obviously they had locked us in. 4.30, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we made our way out of it. But then... That, that feeling, I can still experience it. Mm. Oh, God. It's a chill thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I loved listening to that. I wanted, I wanted popcorn. Yeah, uh, I know. Uh, when I was listening to this. And, uh, yeah. Very dramatic. Ooh. Next time you're in India, India is filled with such mysterious oh, places. Oh, God. Wow. Yes. <laughs> um, That's crazy. Yes. So, yeah. Do you... Um, does any of you have any other stories you want to share? Oh, yeah. Because I have tons, but I don't want to be the only one talking here. Yeah. I could do a quick one. Okay. How are we doing? Yeah, we got 25? Yeah. Um, so in, yeah, when I was in Saudi Arabia, we heard about this place called Medina Asala. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's kind of in the south e southeast of Saudi. And it's a place where the, the old civilization from Petra, from mm -hmm. Jordan, used to, used to live there. Mm -hmm. And um, a hundred years ago, it was a really prosperous area because there was um, a water network. It had lots of oases. Mm -hmm. And there was a trade route there, and it was really, really uh, rich and prosperous. And apparently, uh, Allah came down, and he offered the, the civilization here a camel uh, that was pregnant. And he said, oh, you guys are doing so well. I just wanted to let you know. It, it was me who provided this water, so please take the camel and pay respect to me. And they went... Nah, and they killed the camel oh. Oh my God. and used it for meat. Oh, wow. And then uh, Allah cursed the whole area and it dried up. And there's actually a lot of historical documents showing that many different civilizations have tried to make this area work, but they've always failed, mm -hmm. usually in a really horrible way. Like there's been plagues or famines or droughts and the whole, like, whole community just died. Mm -hmm. And now it's become a bit of a, a black spot for, for the kind of Muslim faith. Wow. A lot of people say you should never go there. And other people, similar to what you were saying, when it gets dark, it's a, just this desert area now with lots of crypts and right. tombs. for this haunting atmosphere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's and interesting because it's a mix of history. Mm. You were yeah, to I mean, there, there's some reality yeah. attached to it. Yeah, it's yeah. been kind of supported by actual evidence. Right? Urban legend. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're kind of crazy when one civilization came through, they, they cut off all the heads of the statues around it so when you walk around there's just these headless statues and heads fall on the floor wow. God. decaying wow. and these open <laughs> crypts and things yeah and uh, we went there with a the guide and he said uh, when it gets dark then uh these these spirits called jinn yeah that's yeah. it come yeah in and they can actually take over bodies oh and he he said a he told a story about one, uh, one of his friends who was a tour guide who came back and while they were leaving the area, he was just acting really strange, like his personality switched. And as soon as they left the area, he kind of like suddenly just kind of shuddered and was like, wow, mm. how did we get here? Yeah. As oh, if he didn't even know. Scary. Yeah. 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 So they, they're insistent that you leave before the sun goes down. Yeah. Like we, we have to go. The tour is arranged so that you have to be out of this area before the sun, the sun wow. goes down. So that's quite that's interesting. It's crazy. Wow. Yes. Yeah. crazy. Crazy. Body yeah. snatchers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't yeah. see anything, but... I mean, I think every culture has its own version of ghosts and Definitely. supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. in the Philippines, there's yeah. actually a lot. Um, even of supernatural like creatures and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even superstitions of what you're supposed to do or not do. I think we don't have a lot of time like, to get into that. So. Mm -hmm. Next time, yeah. Maybe we could do a part two of Halloween, mm, yes. but you will have to comment, like, and subscribe for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and that's, that's right. when we'll know you're enjoying the podcast. Yeah, let us yes. know what else you want to listen to, what kind of topics that you want to hear from us. Yep. Yes. Check the uh, link in the description of this ch of this video, and you'll find a place where you can add comments and also suggest topics for us to to talk about. Should yes. be good. And please okay. check every month we'll be uploading a new podcast. What's the what's the next topic? Um, well, that, that's a surprise. Yes, Ooh, a surprise. <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. that brings us to the end. Thank you very much for being with us on this journey, and we look forward to talking to you. Don't again. forget to like, subscribe, subscribe and, and comment. comment. It really helps with the algorithms. Thank you. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah.